Hello, I'm Magdalene Link, Library Assistant at the Missouri Historical Society Library and Research Center. When I'm not at work helping take care of our collection or assisting visitors with their research, I can usually be found in my kitchen baking or cooking. While I've been home, I've been exploring a few of the nearly 900 cookbooks that can be found at the library. I've mostly focused on 20th century titles to get a taste of the past. I've been able to see how much food has changed even in the last hundred or so years. The last recipe I shared was from the St. Louis Star Times cookbook, and today I'm going to share something from about four decades earlier. Today's recipe comes from the World's Fair Souvenir Cookbook by Sarah Tyson Rohrer. In the preface, Mrs. Rohrer notes that the book serves two purposes. First, to show off recipes from the Eastern Pavilion at the Louisiana Purchase Exposition in St. Louis, and second, to quote, show how simply and easily all foods may be prepared. So with that in mind, let's make some milk biscuits. For this recipe, you will need one quart of sifted flour, which is equal to about four cups or one pound, one heaping tablespoon of butter or lard, but you could use shortening as well, two heaping teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon salt, and about a half pint of milk. You will also need a mixing bowl, a rolling pin, some baking sheets, and a small round cutter, somewhere between two to three inches in size. To make milk biscuits, put the flour into a bowl and rub in the butter or lard until well distributed. Mix in the baking powder, salt, and add enough milk to make a soft dough. Mix and knead quickly. On a lightly floured surface, roll out your dough a half inch thick and cut out, placing the biscuits two inches apart on greased baking sheets. Bake in a 400 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. The biscuits are done when the top and bottom are light brown and the sides are a pale color. Serve warm or at room temperature. Here are our finished milk biscuits. So we got about two dozen biscuits from this recipe, but you may end up with more or less depending on what size cutter you used. Um, I took this recipe and compared it to a few other more modern recipes, and it's almost identical. Um, some recipes might use buttermilk, larger quantities of fat, or even a little bit of sugar to balance everything out. Um, and these are on the planner side, um, but they're pretty good. And um, I encourage you to serve them with butter, honey, jam, or as part of your breakfast or lunch. Let us know if you give it a go.